I like posing for thumbnails on Charlie when someone's watching. Girl, you a fine ass Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah and it's beautiful to meet you. Welcome to what I call the hashtag hot mess crew. We are all hot messes and we accept all other hot messes. So make sure you subscribe down below and give this video a big thumbs up to let me know you're excited to be here. So I'm filming a haul for you guys and I do have someone in the background. You can't see them. You don't know who they are, but they're there, right there. That's Remy playing with toys in the background. But yeah, I do have someone here. So if you hear any sounds, don't worry about it. So I am doing a haul for you guys because I feel like you guys just love hauls. I feel like you don't care where they're from. You just love to see it. So I'm going to show you what I got today. So I've decided in the new year I'm picking up a new hobby and my hobby is watercolor. Like who is she? I bought a new bullet journal, which if you guys watch my vlog, which you should, you know all about, or I guess you will know all about because it's in my next vlog. But I bought the Archer and Olive bullet journal. And so that is really thick paper that you can actually do watercolor in and so I've just been seeing a lot of bullet journal watercoloring and I'm like I want to do it and then I like dived down this like hole of watching people watercolor paint and now I'm just like I could do that like I could learn that and so we're starting a new hobby in 2021 <laughs> so that's what we're doing so today I went to Michael's and I like really went in you know I'm like you know what this is a new hobby I'm going in I have a bonus from work that I'm going to use. So I didn't even really spend any real money. It's all fake money. And <laughs> is that real? Like, can you say money's fake? And I even had a 25% off coupon. So I really spent a lot of money. My total was like 186, but with my coupon, I only paid like 136. So we love a good deal. So I'm going to go ahead and show you everything that I got. It all has to do with bullet journaling and watercoloring. So I hope you're excited to see supplies the person i'm with literally texted me to communicate but like you're right here so like you communicate <laughs> oh okay 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 so the very first thing that i got very basic but i got a little palette so you can do all the mixing up can i film please i have a palette that i got for michael's it was like 119 and it's just to mix all the watercoloring, so that's going to be great. I feel like I should do all the watercolor stuff first. I then got two mason jars because these are actually not... I was originally... I went over there to look for, like, water cups, but I'm actually going to use these for meal prepping, so that's why I got these. But I can't find any single mason jars anywhere, but of course Michael's came through. It wasn't necessary to get these. I could have just gotten a bigger cup from, like, Dollar Tree, but no, I feel, I feel like this is a vibe, you know? Like, so one is going to be, like, my clean water, and then the other one's going to be, like, the dirty water. And I think this will just be really nice, and I think they're cute that, like, you can seal them if you want. I don't know. Was it necessary? Probably not. But did I do it? Yes. Staying in the water coloring area, let's just talk about the water color I got. So I got all, like, student-grade kind of stuff. I didn't get anything, like, super professional except for the brushes. Um, but this is the Wins Windsor & Newton Kotman... Cotman, Cotman, I don't know, Cotman watercolors. And it, it just comes with, I want to say it's 12. It's 12 colors, but it's all the colors that you need because you can even mix colors. So, like, this will give you any array of colors that you're really looking for. And it's like student quality, but it's still high quality. So, this little thing was $30. Like, what? But it's fine. I'm excited. Then, this is probably the most, like, I feel like expensive, like, crazy thing. Like, what? That I bought. This is the Liquitex Professional. It's professional. <laughs> Acrylic gouache. Gouache. Am I saying that right? I think it's gouache. But this is basically just paint that you use when you're watercoloring if you want to do, like, stars or, like, fine details or anything like that. And then I literally had, like, a full-out list. Like, I had in my notes app a list of things that I wanted. And so, like, I, honey, I went and I did it. Like, everything on my list I got. So, I needed brushes to watercolor. So, let me just quickly go over these. So, two of these I got are professional grade, which is, like, kind of extreme. Like, this brush was $19.99. It better be the best thing in my life. But it's just, like, a rounded brush. I feel like it's a beauty guru. It's a, it's a rounded brush with, like, a fine tip, which that's actually how all three of these ones are. So I got a large one or a larger one. This is a size 12 and it is the Aqua Elite Princeton brush. And then I got that same brand in a size 10, same concept of brush. 
Then I got the same concept of brush, but this is like a like a lower grade one, but it's the Winsor & Newton one, and this is a size 4. Then I knew I wanted a flat brush, so this is like the middle quality. It's a Princeton brush again, and this is a size 10, in case you're wondering. Then I got a rounded one because Michael's, the little thing said I needed a rounded one just for things. So this is, it doesn't have a size, it just says it's half inch. So I got this one. And the brand for this one is Grumbosher, Grumbosher, I don't know. And then I finally, I got a fan brush. This was like $2.99, the cheapest brush. And this is to use with the gouache because if you like put the gouache on and then you like go like this over the painting, it creates like little stars and stuff. So those are the brushes that I got. I've just learned from the peanut gallery that this is actually pronounced gouache, not gouache, just in case you're wondering. And then I got a bunch of pens like all of the pens and markers but before I show you that I did want to show you my paper that I got the bullet journal that I'm having I do plan on doing most of the stuff in the bullet journal but I do actually want to practice like actual watercolor painting so this it only comes with 12 sheets of paper but they're pretty like they're a good size you know they're not huge I didn't want to get anything too too big but and in case you're wondering, I got the watercolor paper cold press, which from my research is apparently like a good middle ground between cold, no, between warm press and or hot press and just like the rough ones. So it's, it's student grade paper, so it's not 100% cotton, but it is the 140 ib one, ib, really Hannah? It is the 140 pound one, which from all of my uh, research that I've been doing when I should be sleeping is good quality paper. So excited about that. I have a million pens to show you. I guess we'll show you these ones first because these ones kind of are more in the realm of with the water color. I got two of the Jelly Roll Sakura, 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 I really don't know how to pronounce these, I'm sorry. But two of these Jelly Roll pens, one in 10, one in 08, it's just a white and a black gel pen. And these are really great to use over top of water coloring. I love when people have white gel or like white gel pens over watercolor in their bullet journals i think it's so beautiful and i also saw that you could do detail in your painting with this so i'm excited to use both of these then i feel like i'm finally like a part of the cool kids i finally have micron pens and so i picked up the zero one which is like the really really fine like you like honey you could not see this like why am i even showing you like it's so fine it's like insane and then I also picked up the Micron 08, which this one is just a little bit thicker. It's closer to like a marker rather than like a pen, but it's still going to get you like a really fine, like you could write with it, to take notes with it, you know, but it's just a little bit thicker. So I'm excited about both of these. I've been watching a lot of bullet journal videos. I really want to get back into it. I decided not, this is my current bullet journal. I have the loop term. I can't say it. It's like the loop term one. And I only used about half of it, but I used it for 2019 and 2020. And, you know, I just think it's time to move on. You know, I feel like that's why I didn't really stick with it is because it wasn't, like, a new one for the year. I feel like I should just use a new one for the year and every year. You know, like, why keep using the same one? <laughs> and then I kind of went Tombow crazy. So, the first thing that I got, it's a pack of the, again, I'm not going to be able to pronounce these whatsoever. I guess I could. They're just called the, they're just brush pens. I can't remember how to say it, but it's like a fun something. I don't know, but it's just a Tombow calligraphy pen. So it's a little bit different. It's a finer tip than this. These ones, if you try to do calligraphy or any kind of like handwriting, it's too thick. So this is like a thinner one that you can like put pressure to make it thicker. So that's why I wanted these so I can see if I can like improve my handwriting, like, um, like the pretty handwriting, not just like my handwriting, if that makes sense. But this was $10 for a blue and a black. And then I added to my Tombow collection. I got some more muted colors. I have a lot of really bright colors and I just, I'm more of this vibe right now. The more like muted, like what would you even call this? Like muted, warmer toned colors, I guess. I don't know. But so the first one that I got is in... It's the color 850, and this is like a pinkish color. I don't really think this is really going to help you at all seeing that, but 850. Then I got like a tan color. This is 942. Then I got a yellow color. This is 991. And then I have a 
green color this is 158 and in case you're just curious like you just want to know let me just show you all the ones I have <laughs> I'm so excited to like add to it these are all <laughs> the ones that I already currently have and as you can see they're kind of more of like the bright rainbowy colors I wanted to throw in some more neutral colors so yeah I have a million Tombows now so turns out I didn't have that color I almost bought today I almost bought one color but I thought I had it but I do not have it so I need to like take inventory of the Tombows that I have like I have so many isn't it so great I love me that's enough I need to stop I could ramble on and on forever because I'm so excited so I plan on doing some videos within my vlogs like showing you guys like what I'm like watercoloring and bullet journaling I don't plan on creating like full videos like this unless that's something you guys really want to see but I have a feeling it's not so I plan on keeping it in the vlog so that's it for the haul. I hope you guys loved this haul oh so much and let me know down in the comments if you watercolor or if you bullet journal. I would love to know like your guys' favorite supplies. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I love you oh so much.